this is the electron lens. You remember in previous example the electron beam was not focused. And to focus the beam, the electron lens are used. The lens is simply the coil placed inside the core and the particle flew through the lens. We know the particle parameters, the charge, the speed. So let's start the field and simulate the particle trajectory. The problem type is magnetostatics. The model class is axismetic. The problem has this cylindrical symmetry, so I will simulate only the upper half of the model. This is the geometry model. I have the vacuum, the winding, the magnetic core, and the insulation between the winding and the core. For the core, I specify the permeability. And for the vacuum, the permeability of vacuum is 1. And for the winding, I specify the current. And again, we have the external boundary with zero magnetic potential specified on it. Now, to trace the particle, we need to solve the problem. And I would like to show you how the particle would fly without magnetic field. So, I set very low current in the winding. This is the magnetic field distribution. Let's take a look at the field distribution on the axis of rotation. You see there is the peak value of the flux density just inside the coil, but the field density value is very small. Let's simulate the particle trajectory in magnetic field. You remember that the that after our electrostatic accelerator, the particle moves astray. It's not focused. Something like this. And I would like to focus the particle. But again, initial simulation without strong magnetic field. Again, it will be the electron 
and specifies the charge of the electron, the mass, the initial position, and the initial speed. Let's run the simulation. You see in the weak magnetic field, the particle flew away. Let's supply some strong, some current value in the coil. I pu put one ampere in the coil. Again, I solve the problem. And place the same particle in magnetic field. It seems the current value is not enough to focus the particle, so I will place 10 ampere, again solve the problem. Now it's working the intended way. The particle in the strong magnetic field is focused and directed to the center. And this is the focal point and this is the focal distance. And again I can see the plots. Yes, this is the focal point. And I can see the kinematic values in the table. Again, the energy of the particle is not changing. Magnetic field does not change the particle energy. And if I put 5 ampere in the coil, If I put 5 ampere in the coil, then I have the electronic beam that is clinear with the axis of rotation. 